Hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Tsuki, and this is Darkest Dungeon. So, in the last episode, we did our first medium mission, and uh, scored a fat amount of loot, which we then immediately spent. Oh god, chance, don't say that. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's enjoying his time in the brothel some more. Okay, uh, in this mission, I think I already spent some gold at the end of the last episode to provision and... Uh, yeah, you can see the level of the skills underneath it. Um, okay, let us see what missions we have available. Yes, okay, thank you. Oh, um, this is the boss for the ruins. It's a medium mission... It gives a bounty hunter helmet. Mm, we don't even have a bounty hunter. So that's like a bit of a crappy reward. We can reroll this by basically doing another mission, I believe. Because it's orange like this, it means it's a medium level mission, so level 3. You get level 1 missions, level 3 missions, and then level 5 missions. Um, the only a higher level than that is the level 6 missions over here. Um, so there's duration and then there's the level for it. I don't have anybody that is strong enough to do these level 3 missions yet. You ideally want to be level 3 or above. And have enough trinkets to basically fill everybody up. Okay, um, I'm going to try... There is no... Okay, there's two short missions. What is this for the Crusader? Yeah, it seems nice. Okay, um, so let's grab Daniel. Uh, his skills have not been upgraded yet, but that's not as necessary. And then, I have not gotten this ability of hers yet. Because right now, we have... Very little ability to hit that last target. Nair could do a little bit. Um, and these are also terrible abilities. I want the other ones. I want literally the opposite of what they he has right now. Okay, uh... You're a pistol jockey. I always like having two pretty strong melee people up front. And we're going to the cove, so bleed is definitely a thing. Am I? I am very available. Which is fine. I think I'll be putting myself in. Um, then maybe... These are bad abilities. Oh, God. They were rolled so terribly. But yeah, she already has the next level weapons as well. Which is useful, and all her skills are upgraded. Oh, so I can, yeah, I forget. Okay, I want the pickaxe. This launches her forward. I don't want that. I want that. That sends her back. I want this one. And, uh... This cures blight and bleed, and gives herself a nice bit of boost. This just reinforces her position as a decent damage dealer. Okay, gonna slide her in there and then carrots. And now you've got a pretty nasty hangover from all the drinking you did, but you know, there you go. Alright, I think that's a pretty good team to head out to the cove. So you guys can see what horrors await us over here in this realm of antiquity. Uh, 12 should be enough. Um, a torture should be enough. One of each of these. Two shovels. Let's go! These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Again, a very terrible place for us to start. 
Hmm. Because now we have to go there, and if we don't get a scouting bonus over here, then we have to go all the way. Which just means a lot of backtracking. But yeah, there's already a trap Littering here in the next gold, tile. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Grave robbers are also good with uh, opening stuff, or disarming traps, sorry. Oh, Journal of Darius, the highwayman. Day 8, Moira has been afflicted with sickness. It must have been some rotting air from a coffin she insisted on piercing with her spade. As terrible as this place is, I know I will not fall for any trap, nor crazed idiot. I wager my lucky coin on it. Alright. Again, I'm not sure we need those. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so no scout. Oh, so there is a scout. Let's see. Of course. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, we have to go all the way there. More fancy treasures. Don't need a key for this one. Only generally if it has a lock on it do you need a key. Alright. Time for our first uh, battle against these... Uh, the way is lit. Water the sog is the horrors. We require only the strength to follow it. The stress assholes always have like super high speed. But at least I can bleed every single one of them. Uh, you lower their bleed resistance while this gives you some accuracy. Spearfishing. Isn't that a pull? No, that wasn't. Okay, fine. This guy has high protection, I think. Or just high health. Confidence Nothing, he's dead. As the enemy crumbles. And he didn't leave a corpse either. Interesting. Uh, I keep forgetting which one of these are my stun. This is the stun. I'll just kill this guy outright. Falls, Don't need to stun him. Faint hope blossoms. Brine? You? What is that too? 20, minus 20 dodge. And 3 speed less. You have 75% prot. Uh, you've got some dodge and some speed. I'll just hit you with my pick if you don't mind. And then I really need to bleed you. Seaward slash. Ow. Nothing funny, just... Just a slash. Their formation is broken. What's your stun Maintain resistance? The offensive. I can't see. What's your stun resistance? 50%. So this is a coin flip. The ah, match is good. Stuck. A blazing star is born. I just don't want it to do unnecessary things. Uh, okay, can't do that. This is a cure for yourself. Continually oh, all right. Onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, now to head on back and all the way around. This mission should be over quick enough. Sometimes enemies respawn in these holes. It's just a chance, though, I believe. So let's just go ahead and move on. The higher your team's level is, the less the chance is that they will get those random stress buff buffs. This thing, I believe you use the herbs on this. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. This is very nice. Very nice. If I have to... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. If I have to pull a Boros on myself. There's nobody here. Okay. Moving on. Hopefully we get a scout. There you go. Okay. Battle right outside the room. Let's make sure our torches are up. There we go. Wow. Four of you guys. You go first. So I'm going to immediately do this because that gives them a minus 23% bleed resistance. A decisive pummeling. 
which will allow him to land the bleeds uh, slightly easier. You... I'm gonna have you heal everybody. Just so we can get our guys back up. Oh, only one resisted that. Not bad. So he is definitely going to die. Yes, he still needs a little bit of help. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, one hit point. Ah, hey, good dodge. Ow. And he's dead. Inches. A death by inches. Slowly, <laughs> gently. This is how a life is taken. Go, Suki, go. Oh, that didn't bleed him? We resisted. Um, this will damage him and heal yourself. There you go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, of course. What the hell is this? I've not seen this thing before. What do we do with this? A bass? A base? Bass relief. A puzzling ancient sculpture of dizzying implication. Daniel, go ahead. Oh. Alright. We don't have anything to clean that with, so I'm just gonna skip. No scout? Alright, moving on. This is where it gets tricky. Keep your torch up. Make sure you check... ...everything. Oh! Alright, so these assholes, I can get a dagger toss off. Which means, I really want this guy to just die. Okay. That's fine, that doesn't really seem to do much. This causes bleed. Which is okay. You need some more healing, so... Lightning bolt. Yes. I know you're bleeding. Beat wow, 24. Thou art judged. Uh, this is only for yourself. Yes, unfortunately. Big axe to the face. Doggy love or target whistle or nah. Get him, push. Oh, same target. So double the bleed. Double the murder. As victories mount, so too will resistance. When you're against enemies that do bleeding damage like that, always wait until that enemy is dead or the fight is over before you apply your bandage. Otherwise, as you see what happens there, if they bleed you the first time and you apply the bandage, they'll just bleed you a second time and then you wasted the bandage. Just keep that in mind. Journal of Darius. Uh, day one. Rare are travelers on the roads this autumn, and rather than starve, I pressed my last coin into the hand of one who dealt in rumors and shadows. Ravens carried cryptic notes that there was a person or persons who was pledging coin for services best left unmentioned in a hamlet I had never heard of. I am packing to leave immediately. Again, I don't think we need these. There is at least one more room battle, and with my luck, it's probably the last. I hate these things. I really hate these things. Good. Now bleed! Oh, they were all bled. I don't like you, so get stunned, son. I can't stun you. Well then, big guy, you get stunned. And, uh...
He's got high prod, so it's better to bleed this guy. It's a nasty attack. It just sounds nasty. Of course he's gonna go first. Again, these guys have such high speed. And this guy as well, apparently. Ow! For six damage. I just don't like that guy. He needs to die. Some more bleeding, I guess. Does this stack? Yes, it does. So every time you apply bleeding, it increases it by an extra one point. I'm gonna heal myself. Octocestus. I believe that is a bleeding attack. Yes, it is. Now he has no stun resist. So I'll just stun him again. Stun an enemy and then take the time that he's stunned to do stuff to yourself. Like mark him. Don't kill him yet because I can use this free turn that I'm getting basically to use her to heal everybody up. Okay, so everybody needs a heal, but most of all, Daniel. There you go. Next turn, and he's not gonna go first. Even if he did survive somehow. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? This one has a keyhole, so slide the key in there. Get double the amount of loot, so we wouldn't have gotten anything nearly as fancy. Okay, so my bags are full. I don't like doing that. But basically, I can just drag this on here to get some bag space for now. 50 gold isn't gonna kill me. Probably one more fight over here. Yes. Okay, let's go. Mm. The light, the promise of safety. Get bled, sons. Oh, you resisted. You sneaky bastard. I think I can just outright murder him. But I did not murder him. Uh, that's unfortunate. Stun. As Ooh, he resisted. Purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Ouch! And ouch! This is unfortunately what happens. This was bad play on my behalf because I could have easily killed all of them before their turn was up. Now I suffered unnecessary damage and just unnecessary everything. Now the good thing would be to don't kill all of them until I've had a chance to heal them. But I don't want them to actually do stuff. So you get bled some more. That is so much damage though. Like, unnecessarily much. And then I roll a 1, of course. Get closer so I can stun you. Like, heal yourself. Oh, hug that pupper. Stun this guy. Thank you. And now heal. And then you roll another one. Seriously. Just murder this guy and get it over with. Uh, yeah. Eat the food. Brought low and driven into the mud. Remember, if you take the unused equipment back to town, you actually... Like, uh, get some of that cash back. Okay, mm. moving on. 
One last fight remaining. Wow. Cannot carry the 50 gold. Oh, alright. Another mariner. Another misfortune. The idea is may we find victory. That we are like in the caves beneath the manor somehow, somewhere. A zero debuff. Ooh, that wasn't bad. And then Mr. Popper. Okay, if he's not dead, he will be on the next turn, which means we can stun. Again, we can't stun that guy. We just stun this dude then. What? 10% chance. Murder him. You're dead. So it's just this guy. That hits two people? I did not know that. And then you go first. Of course. Of course. Don't need to heal everybody, just murder this dude. It's wrong ability. I always get these two confused. Just murder him properly. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Day six. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Reven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therion, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I am already falling asleep. We're done. However, we're obviously going to quickly use this. Wow, thanks for the accuracy buff. The pungent odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. Pretty decent hole and some crest. Well, not crests, but the. Uh, are those crests? Yeah, those are crests. Silly me. Really? Oh, that's no problem. We're never in the dark. Oh, this is good. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. All right. One thing that I don't like is the four people that are in your party will always be on top. No matter how you rearrange this, and that's just a little annoying. So bring them out of the team and then you can arrange by stress levels to see what stuff looks like. Okay, so I think you will do fine here for now. Is Chance finally back? Jeez. Yeah. Carrots is now on level 2. Okay. Uh, let's see if we want to keep any of this stuff. I don't want to keep that on you. Alright. But we have... Yeah, this is useful. Him critting minus 1% versus... Like 5% damage reduction. Hmm. I guess it... Something could be said for it. Do we have a jester? Yes, we do. Here you go. That's just like 2% crit. He has a 10% crit chance. Maybe I should bring him out on the next mission just to check what's up, you know. I'm looking for an occultist. No occultist and no level 1 people either. Boring. Okay, so... We don't have an arbalist either. Okay. Um, let's check if we can push in another quick little quick mission. Did this reroll this thing? Yes, it did. So that's useful. I really like that one. Demon's Cauldron. Unfortunately, I'm, we don't have much time to do that. I'll fight the Necromancer probably in the next episode. 
Let's see if there's another little short one. There is. Book of Intuition. Minus 20% chance that the party is surprised. That could be very useful. Or just, you know, five hackers to meet melee skills. Wow, these are both very useful. I'm gonna go with this one because being having your party surprised is a pain in my asshole. Okay, I'm going just quickly going back to town. This episode might be a little longer. I've got five freaking minutes. Um, sorry, wrong place. You come here. I need to unlock Iron Swan. Thank you. Mm, Daniel. A thousand gold, but useful carrots. Let's get these to upgrade it. Mm. I'll wait with these for now. Let's check if we can get your weapons upgraded. Maybe Daniel? No. I would say it's not so important for like casters to have their stuff upgraded, but for the melee. Or the damage dealers, it's absolutely more important. Because then they deal more damage. Okay. Um, you've been on the front lines a lot, but you've got a lot of good quirks. Positive quirks. Let's get you in the front line, you in the second line, carrots in the back. And uh, I guess me third? That's a Super damage heavy team. But it's fine, I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Nah. We really do have some problems hitting people in the back line. I'm the main damage dealer back there, but uh, if it bleeds, it's useful. Because this is a nice stun, but I'm gonna grab Iron Swan rather. I think we have enough stuns between the two of them. Now we could use more stuns, sure, but this is a nice AOE. Okay. Uh. This one. Let's go. It's a short mission, so... I like having two keys as well, really. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. I don't like this place. Okay, so this was a generally good roll because we don't have to backtrack a lot. So, speed run! A short little room. Oh, lots of empty rooms. I like it. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. I'll read that if we have backspace and it gets back to town. Actually, I'll just open it so you can read it yourself. I'll just read it. Oh, we already saw this one. Shouldn't do that, Daniel. The way is lit. The path is clear. Oh, okay, this isn't we so bad. require only the strength to follow it. The piggies. I hate the piggies. The piggies make me angry. Wow. All right. Uh. Bleed then, I guess. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. 
them, them all. all. Don't disease me, bro. Oh, great. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Carrots, you have rabies now. How do you feel about that? Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, am I gonna waste the bandage on you? I mean, you can heal. Really? Stop looting dead bodies, Daniel. Not cool. Scout. Good. We probably have to go there, yeah. Free torch. Sack with goodies. Wealth beyond 25 measure. Gold. Yeah. Awarded to the brave and that, the fool hardy alike. That 25 gold is wealth. I hate these guys. If it bleeds, you guys have very low bleed resistances. So bleed is like our thing, I guess. These guys are assholes. Because they mark you. Okay, that was a miss. But he won't. Yeah. And then these guys just go for the marked target. And they deal a lot of damage too. Their stun is reasonably low, so... I'm gonna smack this guy. So he doesn't get his way. Keep on bleeding him. If it bleeds, more bleed. That's up to four damage per second. Now you are next to be stunned. Oh, good roll. I guess we'll try with you. Wow! A death by inches. A double, double resist roll. Oh, that's great. Oh, they resisted. Thank goodness. Yes, some more damage for you. And some more damage for you. More bleed. This time they won't resist. There you go. Called it, didn't I? You're gonna die. She's on death's door. Facing the abyss. Yes, I know. Thank you. So she now has that mortality debuff, which gives her like a big old bunch of negative debuffs. But whatever. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. We can switch them back to the default party order. Okay. I don't worry so much about their health. The stress is the thing that you really need to manage in this game. Glittering Ooh. gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. All right, you guys are still blighted. Blight, you really got a cure. Because it deals, like, a lot of damage. All right, I think we have two more fights left. Let's go. Okay, let's make sure the torch is up to full. As the light gains purchase, spirits I hate are these guys. And purpose is made clear. Do you guys bleed? Not so well. You bleed. You resisted. Amazing. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. At least you get stunned. It's a fifty percent chance. In but radiance, eh. may we find victory. Their 
formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Crit, crit, crit. Oh. Back to the pit. Hey, a key. All right, and then old tree stump. I don't know. What do we use here? Nothing. Wow, that uh, that's some tremendous treasure. Oh God, you lot again! Bleed. These guys just have high prot. Oh, and then yeah, of course. Groping swipe, I don't mind. It's not that high damage. Again? The same target. That lasts like for three rounds. Jeez, you got double marked. Uh, fine, gets done. on its own um now it's your turn again to get stunned i really need to heat a uh, heal i'd like to stun this dude or this dude but you can't stun this guy there's 105 percent so just heal up he's already marked dude relax Ow, okay, that was a mess. Thank goodness. If it bleeds. Bleed. Oh, and then it just stays alive. That's fine. We'll survive this Confidence round. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Stop rolling ones, carrots. It's enough that you roll ones in D&D. Yeah, you get knocked out. Okay, you're gonna get groped some more. Ah, another miss. Good. Heal your pupper. That's better. You're not even marked anymore, but they're still going for you. It's amazing. Slowly, uh -huh. gently. This is how a life is taken. Doesn't matter. Murder them to death, and we're Success done. So All right. clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? Ah, that was a good stun recovery or stress. All right, and we're done. That was two quick missions. <laughs> the agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. I love this narrator. The agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our lands. Oh, and we have our first level three. This replaced Unholy Slayer. All right. Okay, good. Good rolls. This was a long episode, guys. Ooh. A new enemy. Idle and incurable. Idle plague doctors gain one resolve level. So, if you don't do anything, like Chance is gonna sit out the next mission. They just gain one resolve level for free. Um, we'll look into all the this stuff. Wow. Okay. Great. Thanks. We'll look into this stuff and then fight the necromancer probably in the next episode. Guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. 
I'd appreciate it even more if you tap that sub button. Most of all, thanks for enjoying and supporting the series. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.